into our project, you will need white piece of paper or a light blue piece of paper. It is up to you. I used white because I don't have a light blue piece of paper, um, so I just used white. But you can use light blue. The, um, the activity I actually found and that I do every year, I usually use light blue um, paper. Um, and first, you're going to have to sketch a jar. I know it's not, it doesn't sound that hard, but it's really, um, it sounds hard, but it's really pretty easy. I, I mean, I'm not a good drawler and I could sketch a jar pretty simply. Um, but because I want to make it more sparkly and I love glitter, I'm going to use, I'm going to sketch it first with my pencil. And then I'm going to use my glitter glue. You don't have to use a glitter glue. You can just use a marker. Um, and you'll also need yellow paint. So if this is super simple, like some markers, some crayons, and yellow paint. Like it's really not that um, hard to do. So I'm gonna angle this down so you can see what I'm sketching without it falling. Let's see if I can turn it more. There's my water. Oh, my arm's going off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna sketch like a little circle for the lid of the jar. You can't really see it because I'm doing it very lightly, but you'll see it when I um, do with the glitter glue. And then I'm just going to draw a circle, but I'm going to do, not a circle, but I'm going to do kind of like a square, but with rounded edges and just work my way back up to the jar. So, I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't look like an amazing, you know, piece of work that's amazing and it's a jaw. It looks great. You know, it's, yeah, I'm not trying to win a prize here. I'm just doing it for fun. So I'm gonna take my glitter glue and I'm just gonna outline it so you could see it. And because I love, I love, love, love glitter. And I'm doing it silver because usually jars are kind of clear or black and I don't have black glitter glue. So here we are. Outline it. There we go. Bam. All right, that's one. One, oh man. Got my pencil in there. Okay, I'll do the other side. Here we go. All right. Boop. All right, there we go. Bam, all done. All right, if you can see it, there is my jar. Now the glitter glue, it takes a long time to dry. So this isn't going to be dry by the end of it. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Let's angle you down so you can see. And tilt you that way. Okay, let's hopefully, let's hope you don't fall. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna use yellow paint. I'm gonna use my thumb. So I'm gonna take the, the paint, see if I can get it angled. I'm gonna dip my thumb in there. Now I don't want it like completely soaked. I just want it lightly done. And I'm just gonna do thumbprints. As many as you want. I mean, you could do a few. I think in my other painting I did about seven. Um, but you know, you could do as many as you want. I'll do six there. I gotta wipe it off. There we go. So those are my fireflies. Now you have to wait for it to dry. And when it is dry, you can draw the little wings on them with a little dot or a smiley face, whatever you wanna do. And I usually make them seem like they're buzzing by, so I draw like little slight, lightly with a, nope, that's blue. With a black pencil like behind them that they're buzzing real fast because they do move around inside the jar. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna get my finished product so you can see it and you can tell me if you like it or not. All right, so this is my finished product. It, I did it this morning so the glitter glue is still kind of wet and some of the paint isn't exactly dry, but that's what it ends up looking like. You see the fireflies have the little wings. If you could see the light, I did a little bit of like they're buzzing by real fast behind them. So that's what it looks like. And I just did two dots for the eyes. You could draw a little face if you want. I just didn't go, you know, crazy with it. But when I do it in my classroom, a lot of the kids like draw a smiley face and a nose, some give them hair, they go real crazy. So you could decorate it any way you want. It does work better on blue, light blue paper. Um, it looks a lot more, it pops a lot more than it does on the white paper. And usually when I have the blue paper, I take like a, a white pencil 
or a um, white crayon and I kind of color the wings right here. So it makes them kind of clear because usually the wings on a firefly are clear. You can see right through them. But that is my project. I usually do it around this time, right before that we are the end of school because come towards summertime, we're talking about summer things. So usually this is what I do, just to remind them of a little fun thing to do during the summertime. All right, my friends, I hope you had fun doing this quick art activity with me and I will see you soon.